Well, hello. So, allow me to correct myself. When people have asked me why I have never made a comments video, I've always said, because I don't get many mean comments. But it turns out I was wrong. I've just spent the last hour going through my spam folder. <laughs> and apparently, not everyone likes me. Which is, I know, it's hard to believe. How could you not like this close-up face? Which apparently, some people find extremely annoying. So I thought, what better way to start off the first Creaky Blinders comments video than this? <laughs> Obviously, I jest. I don't get that many mean comments, if I'm being honest. My comments tend to fall into three different categories. Category one is nice comments, which we all like getting. Category two is comments from subscribers usually correcting me on some sort of error I've made, whether it be grammar, pronunciation, or anything else. And then there's comment type three, which I don't know, I can't necessarily class them as mean. So let's have a look at a few and see what you guys think. So here we have comment number one from Mika Matsonen, and I apologize if I've just butchered your name. Damn, you look like Adam Savage, just a British tattoo version. Adam Savage is the guy from Mythbusters, isn't he? Not the guy with the giant walrus moustache, the other guy, the one with the ginger hair. So, is that a comment that I should be grateful to receive or not? I'm not completely convinced. And then we have comments like this from Cowabunga Joe. You and many people like you, riding the wave of the truth movement, just want to jump to motive without looking intently at all of the evidence first. Why do you think the Earth is a globe? Well, Kawabunga Joe, thanks for that. Um, <laughs> because it is a globe. Because it's observably, measurably, and provably a globe. So, thanks, mate. And next up, we have Dennis Picard. Now, I find it very funny. The content of this comment comes from a video where I revealed to anybody that wanted to know exactly how much money I am earning from my YouTube channel. Now, to my opinion, that is a very honest and a very transparent thing to do. But Dennis thought otherwise. Well, I would imagine your content would need to be interesting and believable. But yours is not. In fact, matey, ye are lying, creepy weasel. Oh, <laughs> what is ye? Is he? <laughs> Did William Shakespeare write this comment? Clearly not, because <laughs> ye, a lying creepy weasel. I think you're missing an R, and I don't mean the letter. I mean the word. But thanks anyway, Dennis, for pointing that out. Um, the word contradiction springs to mind. You know, I've got to say, guys, this is turning out to be more fun than I expected it to be. And it would be remiss of me as an anti-Flat Earth channel to not include a classic Flat Earther comment from Edgar Nurberg. And I don't apologise if I've ballsed up your name. In your case, mate, tough. Water always finds its own level. The extreme vacuum of space would suck the entire atmosphere of the Earth of its surface in seconds. Off, I think you mean Edgar. The millions of miles an hour the Earth is supposed to be travelling through space to no one knows where dictates that Polaris would not remain in its fixed position for the last 4,500 years. Think for yourself and quite swallow in the lies you have been fed all your life. Okay, Edgar, I will quit swallowing the lies I have been fed all my life even though they're clearly not lies, when you go to school and learn how to write English correctly. And just to give myself a few moments to emotionally recover from this heartbreaking content, 
I'm going to slip in a nice comment just here. And this comment comes from Tanked Melted Argon. And he says, Spanner, thanks for the laughs, Creaky. You've turned my crappy morning around. Very much appreciated. See, so not everybody that leaves me a comment hates me. Obviously, apart from Tad H.G. Whelan. You, sir, Creaky Blinder, are a fucking retard. How you have any following baffles me. The irony in saying there's no research on Flat Earth when 90% of the videos you're ridiculing on YouTube are actually research. LOL. <laughs> okay, so in your opinion, Tad HG, watching other people's YouTube videos of them telling you the Earth is flat, qualifies as research. Absolutely awesome. Now when it comes to my religious views, I don't really have any. I would neither consider myself to be religious or to be an atheist. I guess I'm somewhere in between. But in the case of the next comment, I pray to whatever gods there may or may not be that it came from a woman. I masturbate to the sound of your voice. Damn, there's a man and a woman in the channel icon. <laughs> I'm so confused. But thanks. I'm gonna need to throw in another nice comment to recover from that last one, which was creepy. This one comes from Scott Streeter. Love your videos, just found your channel today and I'm glad I did. Looking forward to more. Well thank you Scott and uh, there's lots more for you to get through so I hope you enjoy them and thank you very very much for such a nice comment. And in true comments video style we next have Faro Farms with another classic flat earther style comment. You lot need to come up with facts and figures if you're going to assert my position is somehow misinformed. Instead of empty insults, like you're actually taking physical and mental energy just to say, well essentially, fuck all. See little creaky boy popping up, keeping quiet? Pagans, the lot of you. Pop, is that what you meant, Faro Farms? <laughs> yes, I pop up in all sorts of places. Uh, no, I'm not a pagan, but thanks for noticing. And um, your position is misinformed. And if you don't like my content, there's a really easy solution. Just don't watch. Now I wasn't sure whether or not to include this next comment, but it kind of reminded me of the sort of things I've seen Fight the Flat Earth and Simon Dan read out. So I thought I would slip it in there. This one comes in from, obviously somebody who just smashed their face against the keyboard. <laughs> wow, you're more ugly than me. How about you stop supporting the satanic round earth model that is very pushed by the Illuminati and their god. And they do think they can predict people's minds with it, so go fuck yourself, you fucking mongoloid. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if I like that one. <laughs> ah, dear me. On to the next one. Now, I'm generally not a fan of long-winded comments, unless, of course, they come from my subscribers and deserve to be read, because they either constructively criticise my content or add something to it. This came in from Maverick Music. Fair enough on the Flat Earth contingent, but it seems you're going full retard on conspiracy theories, as if they completely do not exist. Thing is, dude, you are no different to the likes of those you criticise, such as Nathan Oakley, etc. You are cashing in on these channels to get your own following and popularity. There is such a thing as 322 and numerology, and 9-11 did not occur on that date merely by coincidence. You are going full Mick West retard, where even shills like Joe Rogan admitted he even dismissed the Gulf of Tonkin incident that was a false flag that led to the start of the Vietnam War. If you are to bum off and be a parasite of Oakley and Russian Viz channels, at least rein it in a bit. And do not dismiss every conspiracy theory, as there are many that are true and have proven to be true. Thank you for that maverick music, but you clearly haven't watched that many of my videos then, because if you had, you would have heard me say many times that I'm not an idiot, and I do understand that some conspiracy theories do actually go on to be proven true. The types of conspiracy theories I look into and talk about are the ridiculous ones. So, 
there's two minutes of your life you're not getting back. So thanks, mate. So there we are. I thought I would finish off my first ever comments video on a high with a lovely comment from one of my Patreons, Jeff Spikers. And Jeff says, this guy is hilarious. What a boob. Six fingers from France, six fingers from Mexico. Ha ha ha. I've got one finger from Vietnam for you, Barney. Unbelievable. Anyhow, another great video, Creaky. Thanks. Oh, thank you, Jeff, for continuing to support me on Patreon. Um, if anybody's wondering which video Jeff is talking about, it was yesterday's episode of Creaky Weekly where I talked about Barnabas Nagy, the guy who finds conspiracy in a jam jar. So I'll pop a link to it just up here and you can check it out if you want to. Right, I'm going to call it done there for my first comments video. Please guys, let me know down in the comments if you like this sort of content and if it's something you'd like to see me continue to do. Um, because I'm sure that if I look hard enough like I did this time, there'll be no shortage of comments I can talk about and bring you more videos like this. So thanks very much for sticking around till the end. And I will see you all on Friday for Flat Art Friday. Take care, guys. Bye. With a lovely comment from one of my Patreons, Jeff Spikers. And Jeff says, This guy is a... This guy is a... This guy is hilarious. What a boob. <laughs> yeah, got it right and nobody will ever know. <laughs>